Welcome to Divakar Physics. In this video, we will solve some questions from inverse trigonometric functions for IEC class 12. So, let us solve this first question. So, it is given like this tan square sec inverse 2 plus cot square cosec inverse 3 equals to 1, 11. You have to prove that this expression is equal to 11. Okay, so here it is given tan square and here it is given sec inverse 2. So, if you can convert this tan square into sec, then we can simplify. So, we know that expression that tan square is equal to tan square theta equals to sec square theta minus 1. So, that you can put here. So, sec square sec inverse 2 minus 1. Hmm. So, this is left hand side plus now here cot square is there and uh, here cosec inverse 3 is there cot and cosec. So, what is the relation? The same way you can convert cot square theta is equal to cos x theta minus 1. So, here you can write cos x square cos x inverse 3 minus 1. Then, so this will be 2 square or you can uh, simplify further like this. This is square minus 1. Okay, I am writing this minus 1 and minus 1 minus 2 plus cosec cosec inverse 3 whole square and sec sec inverse x is x that is why this will be 2 square. So, what is the formula sec of sec inverse x is equal to x this is the formula. So, you can write sec of sec inverse 2 as 2, 2 square minus 2 and here also same plus uh, here it is 3 square. So, what is the formula? Same formula cosec of cosec inverse x is equal to x. So, you can write this is 3. So, this part is 3. So, 3 square is 9. Then you can write 4 minus 2 plus 9 equals to 2 plus 9 11 is equal to right hand side. So, this way we can prove. So, this formula we have used here. So, you can follow. So, next question is sec, prove that sec square tan inverse 2 plus cos x square cot inverse 3 equals to 15. So, here again uh, sec and cot tan are given. And as you know, the previous uh, formula what we have used that is sec square theta equals to 1 plus tan square theta. So, this you can use here sec square theta equals to 1 plus tan square theta and cos square theta equals to 1 plus cot square theta. So, let us take this sec square tan inverse 2 means 1 plus tan square tan inverse 2 plus cos x square so similarly so you can write like this 1 plus tan uh, tan inverse 2 whole square ok because this is tan square plus this cos x square cot uh, 
cot inverse 3 you can write as 1 plus cot square cot inverse 3 the cos x square theta is 1 plus cot square theta then you can make it tan of tan inverse 2 that is whole square of that so 1 plus 2 square same way it will be 1 and cot square you can make it cot of cot inverse 3 whole square then that will give 3 3 square is 9 so this way you can get 15 15 is equal to right hand side so this way you can solve the next question is cos inverse sin of cos inverse x is equal to pi by 3 so this you have to solve that means you have to find the value of x now this is uh, cos inverse whole expression so we can write cos uh, sin of cos inverse x is equal to cos pi by 3 now this cos inverse so that side it will go so it will be cos pi by 3 then sin cos inverse x equals to so this is cos 60 degree so it will be half then cos inverse x equals to sin inverse half so this sin i will take this side so sin inverse half and what is sin inverse f half before that you can write sin 30 degree that is pi by 6 so cos inverse x is equal to pi by 6 so x is equal to cos pi by 6 and what is cos pi by 6 root 3 by 2 so therefore x equals to root 3 by 2 sorry root 3 by 2 so this is the answer okay let us see the next question if sec inverse x equals to cosec inverse y then prove that 1 by x square plus 1 by y square is equal to 1 so here let sec inverse x is equal to cosec inverse y is equal to theta then sec inverse x is equal to theta and cosec inverse y is equal to theta then x is equal to sec theta y is equal to cosec theta so x is equal to 1 by cos theta and we need x square so 1 by x square equals to cos square theta and this side 1 by y equals to 1 by cos theta or y is equal to 1 by sin theta that we also you can write So 1 by y equals to sin theta. So 1 by y square is equal to sin square theta. Now 1 by x square plus 1 by y square is equal to cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1. This way can proof therefore 1 by x square plus 1 by y square equals to 1 so it's proved next question is 3 tan inverse x plus cot inverse x equals to pi now here we have uh, one relation between tan inverse and cot inverse tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equal to pi by 2 because tan theta is equal to cot 90 minus theta so this expression we can use and we can change this cot inverse x 
as pi by 2 minus 10 inverse x so that I will put 10 inverse x plus pi minus 10 inverse x is equal to pi then 3 10 inverse x minus 10 inverse x so 2 10 inverse x so this is pi by 2 equals to pi minus pi by 2 and this is pi by 2 you know formula is this 10 inverse x plus cot inverse x is equal to pi by 2 then 2 10 inverse x is equal to pi by 2 so 10 inverse x equals to pi by 4 then 10 inverse x pi by 4 minus 10 x is equal to 10 pi by 4 so x is equal to 1 so this is the answer next question is 10 inverse a plus 10 inverse b plus 10 inverse c is pi then prove that a plus b plus c equals to a b c so here what you can do uh, let uh, 10 10 inverse a is equal to x and that will give a is equal to 10 x 10 inverse b is equal to y that gives b is equal to 10 y and 10 inverse c equals to z then c will be 10 z now as 10 inverse a plus 10 inverse b plus 10 inverse c equals to pi then x plus y plus z is equal to pi you can write then x plus y you take one side and take one. then you can write you can apply the formula of 10 a plus b so then taking 10 both sides so 10 x plus y equal to 10 pi minus z then what is the formula of 10 a plus b so 10 10x plus 10y over 1 minus 10x 10y equals to now 10 90 minus uh, 180 minus z so it comes in second quadrant so 10z you can write second quadrant 10 is negative then we what we have got 10x so what is 10x so 10x is 10x is a 10y is b 10z is c now we we'll replace these values then we get a plus b a minus so 1 minus a b equals to minus c so we'll multiply a plus b equals to minus c plus a b c so a plus b plus c equals to a b c is proved so this way we can solve